All right. So once again, I, I quit out and I started it up again just so you can see this. Uh, if I hit this, um, if I hit the uh, comma key or not, I got to click on this apparently. Is it working? Okay. Um, if I go to recent, you'll see that my save will actually go there. And this also tries to auto save. So a lot of times you'll have auto saves. I don't know why I don't have any auto saves in there. Uh, but the auto saves will also show up. And I just double click on it and you're going to see it'll open it up. So I don't even have to like go to the file and double click on the file. In fact, actually, I found that when you, if you go to your file and just double click on the file that this creates, it usually doesn't open up right. Like it'll, it'll open up ZBrush, but it doesn't like load correctly. I don't know. I've had issues where it just doesn't work. So, all right, we've now got this base mesh guy and that's fine. But what I want to do is be able to um, preview it. We have this preview method, um, but it's not actually, um, we can't actually sculpt on it. You actually can sculpt on it, but it, it doesn't work right. So. Uh, we need to convert that, this, to uh, geometry. But I want to show you one thing before we bother doing that in the queue. Um, notice that what this does is it uses a thing called Dynamesh, which we haven't really talked about a whole ton yet. Uh, we'll talk about it, like, next class. But uh, what it does is it actually creates this, um, actually, right here you can see it. It creates this, like, even geometry throughout the thing, and it's actually sewing the legs together. See that? So that's not good. That We don't want that because that's not how the character should be. Um, it's just the new method that it does to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just turn that back off. When we hit A, all we're actually doing is doing this adaptive skin. It's literally the same thing as hitting, well, you can see actually, it shows you that key right there. Okay. So I'm going to turn the preview on. I'm going to take my Dynamesh resolution. I want to make it zero. I'm going to type in zero. Okay. Then we're going to take the, um, I might have to turn that off, turn it back on. There we go. Um, so now you're going to notice is if I shift F or hit polyframe here. See how now it's not sewed together? Um, the other thing I'm going to do is we can leave the density alone. The density, what that does is it's literally, it's like subdividing the geometry. But the main thing is I just want to make sure that the dynamic resolution is zero. Okay. Um, good. All right. So that looks fine. I'm just going to hold up. Oh, if you ever get so far in, like see how like, oh no, I have no way to hold all. It's just going to draw on it. You see this little white line? I don't know if it's white, but this line if you go outside of here, so basically in here where it turns into thing, if I hold Alt, click and drag, although that was the Windows key, Alt, click and drag, I can now get back out, right? I could also just hit F to frame. That would also work, but just so you are aware, you need to move. You can go inside of here, and that won't affect the model. It'll just, it'll, it's how you move. Okay. So that's fine. Now, technically, it will actually let you sculpt, but you don't want to do it because it doesn't actually keep any of it. Because um, as soon as I would go back in and out, what we want to do is actually just convert this, just like what we had that other thing where I had the, the sphere. I want to just convert it to a poly mesh. So I'm just going to click up here and go make poly mesh. And you're going to see your Z sphere guys here, but now there's this other one, uh, whatever they call it. So if I hover here, well, where are you? Right here. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. It's got my guy. He's now officially that, and you'll see that adaptive skin's not even an option anymore, right? Adaptive and whatever the other one's called. So uh, so now he is a model that we can now sculpt on. So what I'm going to do first before I start, we're going to use this um, thing here. Before I do that, I just want to adjust it in general. So for one, his legs being on top of each other is sort of not like great. So I'm going to hold shift. I'm just going to kind of smooth that out a little bit just so that they're not on top of each other. It just makes it very difficult, obviously, when it's like super pinching. So I'm just gonna, there we go. It doesn't necessarily look better. I just want to get it so they're not like in each other. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep the standard brush and I am actually B, do they have bulge blob? I don't know if that's the one I want. No, that one's not that great. B, not the one that's going to expand as you draw. I'm just trying to look to see where that one is. And we'll just stay standard. ST. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and try to basically, I'm going to draw now back. And let's go ahead. Oops. There we go. Uh, B, S, T. I keep hitting B instead of um, space bar. So sometimes I get confused on hotkeys as well. So we're just going to. Try to hold shift to smooth. Just trying to make this look a little bit more natural. So I'm just going to try and strength. Uh, the strength is a little bit high, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit. So if you have a tablet, that's better too. Um, I currently don't, so I'm doing this with a mouse, which makes it considerably more difficult. Uh, but I'm just going to try and 
flesh this out a little bit. I'm going to put this back on. All right, so. And it's way more difficult using a mouse. Not a huge fan. Okay, so I'm just going to try and get this buttocks a little bit better. Um, but what you should do is try to, like right here, you can see there's a little bit of, you know, uh, you should try and basically make some adjustments. So um, one thing I'm looking at too, this arm should be farther out. Like this chest isn't really quite what I want. So to do that, what I could do is I can hold control, click and drag this area. So it's going to mask all that. And then I'm just going to hold control and mask a little bit more. Okay, like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control, tap. And then I'm going to use my move tool. And we're just going to pull. Um, oops. Uh, hold. I'm going to move this over here. And then there we go. I'm just going to grab uh, this here. Because if I do this, I don't know what is working. Okay. I don't know why it was doing it from the. But anyway, we're going to go like this. Um, and I'm just going to pull these out a little bit, which will give me a little more room to do stuff in here. So now I'm going to hold um, control, click, and drag. And uh, I'm going to go back to Q for the regular sculpts. And I'm going to build in the, the lats and the um, heck area. Okay. Oh. And I'm just going to keep kind of building it up. But what we should do is just try to flesh it out as much as you can. Um, you know, the parts that you can. Uh, see, that was like too weak. Um, to try and get a basic shape. Got like no waste here, so I'm just gonna control click and drag like that. We'll go like that. All right, I'm just gonna stretch this down a little bit. So I'm gonna control click so I get this back to the move, and I'm just gonna push that down a little bit. I feel like it needs a little bit more waste, and let's scale it a little bit. I wonder if I can just scale it from the center. If that would let's undo, let's try scaling from the center. Mm, like that. Okay. Control click, uh, control click and tap, or click and drag. Back to draw. Okay. I feel like proportionally that's a little bit better. All right. Good. All right. So, yeah, I will try to build up what you can. Um, so once I get this sort of closer to what I want, um, what I'll do is I'm going to switch over to this um, Sculptress Pro mode. Um, and now we can use this in order to, uh, try to sculpt it out. Okay. So, uh, okay. So let's do that. Um, and we're just going to hold shift. So what you want to do is draw and then hold shift to smooth like immediately. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Like so. And I'm just going to, I'm going to just try to build them out like a nude because we'll add clothes basically later on. So space, go down. I'm going to hold um, alt to kind of cut in for right there. That was looking a little weird. All right. Ah, keep hitting B. B, S. Okay, cool. Oh, all right. B, S, T. There we go. All right, give him a little badonky donk. That's a little too much badonky donk. Just gonna hold shift to kind of smooth that back out. Um, And you just want to kind of flesh out the whole guy as best as you can. All right. So just kind of sculpt and just try to get this to look a little bit better. I'm going to do the face here because that's going to be the thing that you're probably going to be most struggling with. Okay. So, man, I keep doing that. B-S-T. 
So let's make this, oops, leave the focal shift on. So I will draw a line from the, the, the ear down and smooth that out. I'm gonna hold Alt to kind of make this a little bit smaller. Hold Alt to kind of make some eye sockets. You're gonna need cheekbones, a nose area. So, um, so his jaw is getting a little too far out. So I'm gonna do B M V. So that's the move brush, a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna push that in. And kind of pull the chin out a little bit. This forehead should come up and over. I'm just gonna hold shift to bring that back a little. So needs a little bit better of a nose. So I'm gonna do B S T for standard brush. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna hold control and try to mask out some stuff. And that will make it a little bit easier to get a more appropriate nose shape. All right. Uh, and then we can hold control. Oops, not control, sorry. Alt. Come on. This is smaller, I guess. Uh, hold Alt. And I'm just going to try to push in right there to get a nostril. And I'm just going to hold Shift after to kind of smooth it out. I'll hold Control, click, and drag. It's not a great nose, but you can see if you use the mask, it will sometimes be helpful. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and mask out kind of an eye. Uh, control Alt. Okay, I'll uh, hold uh, Control Tap, and then I can kind of bring in like kind of eyelid situation. Control click and drag. See what I'm saying? I didn't do a good job, but you can see how you would use it. All right, um, I'm gonna call that good for now. Hopefully, you get an idea. Um, you know, do the mouth and all that. So, like right here, I would probably use the focal shift. And I'll make it, that's the wrong direction. I'll make it really tight. And then uh, we'll make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna hold um, Alt and, oops, I did go the right direction the first time. Never mind. Okay. Alt, and I'm just gonna kind of draw a line. And that's not very good. So it should be an M. Okay. And then um, there's pinch that's useful. So I'm going to do B, P, and then I for pinch. And we'll just, whoop, that was a bit much. All right. Um, and then B, S, T. It's just going to take a lot of patience and stuff. I'm not doing a very good job. Uh, but anyway, you just want to sculpt it and kind of cut this off. You just want to sculpt it and do the best you can. Try to make it, you know, not look like this. All right. So uh, I just don't want to make the video too long. So just go through and sculpt. Um, good luck.